waiting for this parcel for like a week now because it's only like three pounds, I think. Cheap. So this is the mini hand, like a frother thing. I was just like so curious about it and I've always wanted one of this anyway. But the ones I've been seeing on Amazon and stuff are like so expensive. Well, for what it is anyway, but this one was only like three pounds. And basically it looks like this. And then you just have to put some batteries on, which I need to get. I'm excited for that. had a shower my hair's still wet but i've just put it in like this sleek ponytail with like a braid not gonna lie last night i did get a little bit drunk it was just really nice and very aesthetic and we just had some wine some homemade keto well keto pizza today i thought i woke up i feel quite sluggish it is actually quarter to one and i woke up really late like 10 so literally i'm just having my supplements right now this is literally like the energy that I needed today. I've got a few things to do today. So I need to go to the shop because I'm going to do a meal prep. I'm going to send the parcel back because I'll show you what it looks like. So I ordered this from Amazon uh, two days ago. And look how small it is. I paid £24 for this and it's just not worth it. So yeah. Okay, so we have just finished going to Tesco. I got most of them is for like the meal prep that I'm gonna be doing like seven days. So I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna do like a honey soy garlicky chicken. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I bought some stuff for that and I'll show you when I get home. First thing first for this haul, I got myself a weighing scale. This is just your bog standard weighing scale because I needed one for this meal prep. I've been obsessed with this pizza thing. So I've got this pizza tray. Even though I'm starting my proper diet tomorrow, I still wanted to get it. I'm actually cooking one tonight, so. I've got these food containers and these were three pounds for three, so like a pound each. I've a little drink because I'm thirsty. Some batteries just to go with the milk for finger bar. Sushi, which is actually on sale, it's only like 3 50 One kg of chicken breast, mushrooms, some stem broccoli, asparagus. I didn't have any more courgettes, which I would rather, so I just got leek instead. Just wild rocket just to go in my pizza later. Frozen mixed vegetables, some broccoli to go with my pizza later as a pizza base. Some gochujang, which is going to be like my sort of sauce to go with my food later so i'm feeling a little bit hungry now so i'm just gonna make myself just a quick food if you know this this is the filipino lucky me for your beef i prefer the normal beef one but they didn't have any Food and I'm so hungry. So I made myself some like ramen. I've got a bit of soy sauce in here. Got my chicken katsu sushi roll and some lip nasties. So I am gonna munch.
Okay, so don't mind the kitchen, it's been an awful mess. We are gonna do the meal prep now. I've just finished my dinner, I'm actually quite stuffed. I've just finished meal prepping. I'm actually really impressed about it. The chicken didn't turn out crispy or how I expected it to be, but it actually looks really delicious. So I wanna show you guys what I've done. Sorry about the washing because we've got the washing on and yeah, the kitchen is messy. Got some fried rice, which looks, oh, this is so lush. Mixed veg in there and the chicken, like, mm-mm. Like, look at that, like, just look at that. I've got my meal prep stuff here now, so I'm going to lay it all out and just separate it. So, officially finished meal prepping and I'm actually really excited to show you. So this is all the meal prep, so that's seven days worth of food and just look, oh my god, like this is like really amazing. And they're like under like, I think six, seven hundred calories each tub, so that's like really good. like this whole entire video I've just been filming in the kitchen which story of my life but got like a little flick thing there I'm gonna be cooking exactly what I made yesterday which is like the broccoli based pizza so I've just got some leftover veg yesterday I just added some more mushrooms and stuff got my broccoli here and I've got some more stuff I'm gonna put on so I'm just gonna do that Okay, call me crazy or whatever, but why is this light not turning off? Okay, I'm going to McDonald's right now. My pizza literally just finished cooking and then I was speaking to my boyfriend and I was like, I really fancy some chips to go with this pizza because it's gonna be my last day of eating like, you know, well, crap food in a way. Um, I was like, you know what? I might as well get dad a dinner tonight and also get some chips. Okay, so I've just made my order and it's probably the wrong day to go to McDonald's and the wrong time because there's literally so many people here. Like, let me just show you the queue. Like, the queue is insane right now and there's literally like so many more people like pulling up. So, hopefully, I won't be here too long because I'm actually quite hungry and I really want to eat that pizza. So, that's not actually too bad. I was only waiting for like 15 minutes. So, but yeah, there's more people literally turning up. Let's go back home to my pizza. <laughs> Okay, so I am now back and I can't wait to dig into this. I'm having half the pizza. Um, I've left the other half for my dad. So McDonald's, I just got some Happy Meal. Right, don't judge me that I got my dad a Happy Meal because he generally loves Happy Meal instead of like those big burgers. I don't know why he likes that as well, but I guess, you know, you like what you like. So I've got my large chips. And if you're a Filipino, then you know what this is. It's cheese powder. Honestly, it's like amazing. You put it in with your chips. Also got my favorite dip with this chili dip. I don't know, there is just something with McDonald's chili dip that is just so different. All the sweet chili I've ever tried. Mmm. It's like the best. So I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'm probably gonna like settle down for bed. And it's still a little bit early, but I have work tomorrow, so I need to be up really early. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my night routine um, skincare. There's quite a few steps into it, but I noticed that it really helped clear out my skin. So let me just tie my hair up because it's everywhere. So what I do, I'll just take some micellar wipe. This is just from Primark. And I'll get rid of as much makeup as I can. And then I take another wipe and then I literally just do the rest of my face. Okay, obviously I don't stop here. This is just to get rid of get rid of the first bit of makeup, but my skin has still got a lot of makeup on it. I like to double cleanse, so I use a softy mo one. I don't wet my face yet or anything. And I just use this oil-based one first. So whilst my face is still dripping, I'm gonna be using my Cetaphil, which is a water-based water-based cleanser so this is called double cleansing and i honestly suggest double cleansing to everyone that's got like bad acne or bad skin and you know so that is the skin my skin is now clear from any makeup i do have some redness and stuff as for my skincare i'm not going to go into too much detail why i use certain products i'm just literally going to show you what i use and it literally helped clear my skin i used to have really bad acne all over my face and i do have like some scarring and stuff as you can see but it's cleared out massively oh this is the pixie toner my beauty of Josen or hosen ginseng water and I spray myself with the Mario Badescu facial spray and then I take my snail mutin. I actually used three ordinary products and I love ordinary. I've been using ordinary for years now and the best. I like to take the retinol. This is in 1%. Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. Hyaluronic acid. Just literally just proper hydrate my skin. So I alternate between the two. This is the Walida one and the Embrelise. This is a new packaging, by the way. But I tend to use this one mostly because I feel like sometimes my skin, especially during the summer, was a lot drier. But it's actually a lot better now. So I'm just going to go to the Embrelise one for tonight. But if my skin is really, really dry or it needs like a little, like a big boost, then I tend to use both. I do have like breakouts and stuff at the moment because it's that time of the month. Okay, so that is my skincare routine during the night. getting ready for work start the next day obviously and i'm so tired i felt like i haven't slept that much I was doing my skincare really quick cream today i'm gonna use my succoplast balm of the spf and it's actually one of my favorite okay i'm just gonna do my eyebrows quickly and then that's all i'm gonna do today i'm not even gonna like use a brow wax or anything so this body shop born lippy this is honestly like the best yeah. Yeah. So I'm obviously on the way to work now it is 20 past six which is later than I usually leave I like to arrive at work like 15 20 minutes earlier just in case of the traffic and stuff I hate being late but today I'll be in time like I'll be I'll be like five ten minutes early so it's not too bad D I don't know why I feel so tired but now I'm drinking my supplements and stuff hopefully I'll get boosted up in like half an hour or so my shift is 12 and a half hours um so I start at seven and I finish at half seven tonight and then after that I'm gonna go gym and then go to sleep again because I've got work again the following day so this is the reality of working full time in the healthcare industry. Obviously, I am now at work. I'm gonna just powder my face a little bit because that's usually what I do. So I do my skincare and then I put a powder when I get to work because I like to my skincare to soak in because I get up quite late. Call me weird, but I like to use this Johnson's baby powder and I learned this trick from the Philippines and it just helps to just help me not be oily or like shiny I say so I just put a little bit on and honestly I'll show you a difference okay so can you see how much like better it is 
there's literally no oils but it still keeps like that nice healthy glow you don't have to use this exact powder you can use like a normal just a bog standard um, John Spay powder but I bought this from the Philippines it smells so good so I'm now gonna obviously go to work so I'll see you in 12 and a half hours okay so it is now half seven I've just finished my shift and trust me I look more tired than I actually look right now it's already getting so dark like I genuinely don't miss waking up in the dark and going home in the dark got my pre-workout here I'm gonna drink this on the way to the gym Just finished the gym it was a good back workout today i felt like i could do more but i'm just very conscious of the time it's 10 past nine now so i've did like nearly an hour workout and i've got work tomorrow it's another long day so i can't stay up late because i need to go and have a shower and then get ready for bed so i'm just gonna have some crunch protein bar this is in banoffee pie i've never had this before so let's try this out 